I don't know why this wasn't recorded in the first time, so this is the second time I'm doing it. I just wanted to say thank you to each and every single one of you individually. You guys don't know what you mean to me. You guys mean a lot more than you think you do. The first thousand people that have subscribed to me, it's truly wonderful. It, it kind of baffles and blows my mind a bit that we've been able to take this under a year to a thousand subscribers. And I truly do believe that we're going to create one of the best things the world's ever seen in regards to men's mental health and men's mental health awareness and a community where men can come and share their feelings and express their things and all try to become better. Uh, I really do appreciate everything you guys have done for me. You know, I, the thousand people that have subscribed, you guys really do mean a lot. The thousand people that have come on here and liked and subscribed and commented, you guys have done a lot. Even though you may seem or may feel like you haven't done anything, you guys really have done a lot for me. You guys have let me go with the confidence knowing very well that there's a there, there's people out there that want to see what I have to say. There's people out there that want to know what's going on in my world, and I just wanted to say thank you. So from the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to say thank you. And as you can tell by the the quality of this, I just was fortunate enough through God to buy a new lens. And I truly do appreciate every single one of you for sticking around through my camera journeys from filming on an old crappy camera to filming on this new camera to not figuring out how to work it to buying a new lens and filming in 4k and learning color grading and learning audio working. So I just wanted to say thank you as much as it's a development for me, it's a development for you because you guys get to see me grow and I get to see you guys grow through my comments. Thank you very much. You guys really do mean a lot to me, and I really do appreciate every single one of you that just likes and comments and subscribes because it's great. It's a great feeling. You know, sometimes I take it for granted and I wanted to practice it a bit of gratitude because it's amazing. It, it truly is. Every single one of you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys really do mean a lot. Thank you so much again. Let's continue on to our regular scheduled program. Peace. And that's the one thing that I wanted to talk about was don't be afraid to ask the question if it means that you get the answer and it means you look a bit silly because it's it's it it's not a question that many people are willing to ask. You know, one thing I've come to learn is that don't be afraid to look like a fool in somebody else's eyes. Don't be afraid to look like a fool if it means that you get the knowledge that you're in search of. You know, we're growing up told that there is no such thing as silly or stupid questions, and I 100% agree with that. Although there's questions that may seem a bit odd and then a bit, you know, how did you not know that answer? You're, you're kind of sitting there a bit dumbfounded at, as to the response or the ask of somebody else. I can remember countless times where somebody asked, quote unquote, a silly or stupid question, but it wasn't even silly or stupid. It was just, how did you not know the answer to that? Which makes it seem stupid. But if, they, if, if it takes you asking the question like that, if it takes you asking a question that seems a bit silly or stupid, I would 100% agree that you need to ask the question. Because obviously you need to know the information for some reason. So why be afraid to know the information? Why be afraid to look like a fool in somebody else's eyes? Well, for the one reason, it's your consciousness, it's your ego, it's your, it's, it's, it's your conscious mind telling you that you don't need to answer that question. It's your conscious mind telling you that you do not need to look like a fool in somebody else's eyes. I get you want to know the information. I get you need to know the information, but you do not need to look like a fool. Don't be afraid to ask the question. If it means that you're going to get the knowledge that you need, there is countless times in my life where I wish I had have known the answer. I wish I had have figured out a, a way to say it because... I was afraid to look like a ding dong in somebody else's eyes. I didn't want to look like less of a guy that I was. I didn't want to look like an idiot. I didn't want to look like I wasn't cool. I didn't want to look like I didn't know what I was doing or I didn't know what was going on or I was an idiot. I didn't want to look like that. My conscious mind stopped me. And I can vividly remember me sitting there contemplating for minutes and minutes on end while the teacher was going over the topic. Should I ask this question? Should I ask this question? Should I ask this question? And lo and behold, what did I do? I did not ask the question because I was too afraid of what I'd look like in somebody else's eyes. What I'm telling you right now, man to man, is that ask the question. I don't care if you look like a fool. I don't care if you look like an idiot. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, this is your life. If it means you look like a fool in somebody else's eyes, that's great. It doesn't matter. You always want to play dumb. We're playing street smart here. You know, you always want to play dumb to catch a fool. But really, you're smart for acting dumb. It's the way it is. You can play like a fool in somebody else's eyes to really get a leg up on the competition, right? Don't be afraid to look like a fool. It's all about being street smart. If somebody perceives you as an idiot, that's fine because you know you're smart. You know you have more information for asking the question. Put aside the ego and say to yourself that I'm not afraid to ask this question. I know it's going to be very difficult because our ego is very fragile and it doesn't want us to, to go and ask that question, especially if we're in a class and coming from a guy myself. We didn't want to ask the question if we had a girl we liked in the class. We didn't want to ask the question if we had a really good friend in that class because we didn't want to be perceived as the idiot. I'm telling you right now, if you would ask the question, if you would go and search a knowledge, you will find it. 
Wisdom is there for the person who's in search of it. Wisdom is there for the person who's not afraid to ask silly questions. We were all beginners at some point. We didn't know how to walk. We didn't know how to talk. But over time, we had to learn how to do these things. Now, if you want to learn how to do something, but you have to ask the question to start, don't be afraid to ask the question. Go out and ask the question. We need to go through through, through baby food to solid food. We don't just give a baby solid food that we'd eat. No, we have to let them go into the baby food, and then we have to let them work their way up as they grow their teeth, as they gain their, their palate on the top of their mouth and as they as they progress as humans we don't just give them a steak to start no we give them baby food and what i'm telling you right now is if you're starting at that baby food section you need to not be afraid to ask the question you need to not be afraid to kind of put your put your ego aside and say i need to gain this knowledge i need to gain this wisdom how can i put my ego aside and it's going to be very difficult you're not going to have a fun time doing it it's not going to be easy i'm telling you that right now putting that ego aside and putting those those feelings aside and putting the I am aside <clears throat> is difficult, but the better off you get at just doing it once a day or the better off you get at doing it once a week or just once when you've never done it before, the better off you're going to become because when you're in search of wisdom, wisdom in search is in search of you. And if you want to become that next best person, if you want to become a leg up on the competition, <gasps> excuse me, and if you want to become that realized idea of yourself, I would highly suggest that what you do is you put that ego aside and you ask the question. 